see you all here. Thank you for coming. It is our privilege to begin our show this evening with a prayer. And tonight's prayer will be offered by Elder Laney. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to thee this afternoon in prayer and would like to thank thee for this beautiful city of Nauvoo, the legacy it holds, and the testimonies of the many saints which who walked here. We thank thee for the opportunities we have to serve in thy church and to, to learn and grow, and we're so grateful for all the various facets and, and aspects of this church which bring us closer to thy son, Jesus Christ. We thank you for him, and we pray, please, it is our prayer tonight that we can lead a more Christ-focused and centered life that today, this, this afternoon, this show might serve as a reminder for all of us of the joy that the gospel brings. We pray for strength and for health in our times of trial that we can support the burdens which God has deemed us worthy to bear. These things we pray for in the name of Jesus Christ. Join us as we take you back to old Nauvoo, over a hundred and eighty years ago, to a pivotal time in our church's history, a time when the saints rolled up their sleeves and cleared the land, dug ditches, and drained the swamps, right here on this bend of the Mississippi. A time of laying out roads, fencing the land, and planning for a magnificent Industrious, hard-working people with a cheerful feeling of pride in the air for their new home.
finds Nabu. Bringing new saints, visitors, trade, lumber, and supplies to the growing city. Barges and riverboats steamed up and down the Mississippi River, bringing with them newness and growth to the city of Nauvoo. In just a few short years, Nauvoo boomed oh. from a small settlement to a city of over 12,000 people, rivaling that of Chicago. Even today, if you watch the Mississippi River long enough, you'll see massive barges floating industry up and down the Mississippi. All that come here agree that it is a treat to beat your feet on the Mississippi mud. When the sun goes down and the tide goes out, people gather round and they all begin to shout.
Night. He prayed to the moon to give him light. He did many a mile of gold that night till he reached the town, oh, town, oh, town, oh. Many a mile of gold that night till he reached the town, oh. Oh, he ran till he came to a great big bend where the ducks and the geese had kept their in. Said a couple of you are gonna grease my chin before I leave this town, oh, town, oh, town, oh. A couple of you are gonna grease my chin before I leave this town, oh. One, two, three, four! He grabbed the great goose by the neck He threw a duck across his back He did a mind and quack quack And the legs are dangling down on down on, down on, in my quack quack, and the legs are dangling down on. Well, the old gray woman jumped out of bed. Out of the window, she popped her head. Cried, John, John, gray goose is up. Fox is in the town, oh, town, oh, town, oh. John, John, gray goose is up. The fox is in the town, oh. Bring on the fiddle!
day's work, families would gather together to share stories, songs, laughter, and prayer. Families were at the heart of everything the saints did here in Nauvoo. So, come with us to Grandma's house, and when she's not looking, we'll jump on her own feather bed. And one small piece of advice, just be careful how hard you shake your family tree. Why? You may have a few nuts fall out. sunshine in their souls. To this day, many still refer to the stage and curtains in the church gym as the cultural hall. A nod to our story history. And now, please enjoy a road show favorite, the classic melodrama, Along Came Jack!
he tied her up. And then he lit the fuse to the dynamite. Socialize. 
my Lou is an old Scottish way of saying my love. Will they find their love? <laughs> or lose their partner? What? Only the dance will tell.
was fantastic. I don't know how you do it. Well, it's really not that hard. You just move your fingers at the right time and move the bow at the same time, and the violin takes care of the rest. <laughs> that is the other. Well, hey, one moment. I'll bet these folks here are wondering, what is the difference between a violin and a fiddle, anyway? Oh, I can tell you that. I mean, it's really just a matter of the style. Like, if you have style, it's a fiddle. <laughs> well, could you teach me to play?
have brought over from old country. The old country? You want to be sneaking of Ireland now, would you? That I would be. And you'd be just the one now, me, to this, this next number. Well, that I would. You see, back in the early 1840s, now the John Tyler baptized the first member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in Ireland. Shortly thereafter, a many good Irish saints immigrated to America to come help build Zion. And these saints, like many other European immigrants, brought with them bits of their unique culture and tradition. Here's a popular Irish folk song from that time that is still sung even today. Oh, oh, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, oh. Rare bog, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, oh. And in that bog, there was a hole, a rare hole, the rattling hole. And a hole in the bog, and the bog down in the valley, oh. And in that hole, oh, there was a tree, a rare tree, the rattling tree. And a tree in the hole, in the hole, in the bog, in the bog down in the valley, oh. Oh, no, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, oh. Rare bog, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, oh. Branch in the tree, in the tree, in the hole, in the hole, in the bog, in the bog, down in the valley, oh, 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 the rattling bog, the bog, down in the valley, oh, the rattling bog, the bog, down in the valley, oh. And on that branch there was a limb, a rare limb, a rattling limb, and a limb on the branch, and the branch, and the tree, the tree, the hole, the hole, the bog, in the bog, down in the valley, oh, 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 the rattling bog, the bog, down in the valley, oh.